Hey everybody, welcome back to another creepy and strange video compilation. Make sure to leave a like so this video is recommended to others. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button so you can keep seeing videos just like this. Don't put the mechanic go to your local priest. <laughs> What's it? Yeah. Oh man, that poor lady. She probably doesn't have enough money to get it fixed. He has to bless the car back to working condition. That's what happens when you don't get the chores done, man. I think you've disappointed your mom for the last time. What I'm about to tell you is the scariest story that I've ever been told by somebody. I was 18 years old and I graduated high school. Somebody that I knew very closely decided he was gonna try to backpack the Pacific Northwest Trail, which is right up here. It's 1200 miles right at the top of the border of Washington. And people try to do it by themselves all the time. It's a backpacking trip. It's very, very remote in some areas. You won't see another person the whole time if you do it right. It can take up to two months if you're successful. My friend only made it about a week. In that week, he packed everything he needed. He brought disposable cameras as well. This is before it was really easy to get digital cameras. They did have them, but he didn't have one. For about a week, he gave up. He didn't quite make it. He said he never saw another person the whole time. He was completely alone for an entire week. The first thing he wanted to do was get those pictures done. When he got them developed, he started looking through, looking through, looking through, and everything looked great, except for one picture. This picture scared him so bad, he never went camping again ever, even if he goes with a group. He refuses to go. He had one picture that was made, and it was a picture of himself inside his tent, <laughs> sleeping. He swears up and down he never saw another person the whole time, and that this was totally unexplainable. Oh. He said the only way that's possible is if someone opened up his tent in the middle of the night while he was sleeping, went in there, grabbed his camera and just stood over the top of him and took a picture while he was sleeping. Yeah, for sure. That that gave me goosebumps, man. I think that would traumatize me for a little while. I don't think I'd want to go camping for a bit. This dude keeps getting haunted by the same big-headed alien. That's like the fifth video I've seen of that guy. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. It is happening. You know what comes next? Terminator 2. The scariest thing you can think of happening while camping. This story comes straight from the heart of Appalachia. And if you love scary camping stories, this week's episode is probably the scariest camping story I've ever heard. So the story goes that in the Great Smoky Mountains, a scout leader was taking a bunch of Boy Scouts up into the mountains for the weekend. And they were deep in the mountains. The nearest road was supposedly six miles away. So that night, all of the campers go to sleep except for the scoutmaster. He wanted to stay up and read, but also he was getting this weird feeling that something was watching them. So he's laying awake in his hammock when all of a sudden he hears rustling. It's like too small to be a bear, but way bigger than a squirrel. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this man just walks out of the woods. It's the dead of night and he has no gear and no flashlight. And he just sits at the edge of their camp watching the tents. The scoutmaster is laying in his hammock trying to not move a muscle and he ends up laying there for three hours. And all the while he's thinking about how he was just reading about feral people living in the Smoky Mountains. Eventually the guy gets up, stares at the camp for a few more minutes and turns around and leaves. The scoutmaster makes everyone leave that next day, but he keeps getting the feeling that someone's watching him the whole rest of the weekend. I have a bunch of episodes that have different scary camping stories, so check them out. That must have been a long hike, dude, because I would not have waited until morning. <laughs> a creepy guy watching you from the edge of the woods. You shut it down immediately. You gotta go, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wash my car in the middle of a rainstorm. What the?
This is probably why we end up with videos of people getting struck by lightning. I'm pretty cheap too, man, but this, this doesn't seem like a very smart idea. But to each his own. What? Yo, is that real? Is that a filter? That's crazy. It's like a monkey cat. Lycoy, also known as a werewolf cat. Hold on, I want to find out more about this. Oh, wow. It is a type of cat. They do look like a mix of a werewolf and a cat. That's crazy. How come I've never seen one of these? Yeah, it's, it, they look like tiny wolves. Some of them anyways. What is a creepy camping story that you have? That is the question that I asked myself when reading this Reddit post from a user named Ohio Girl. So let's get started with the story. So this story takes place of July of 2020. So it was around midnight and we decided to go to bed. And then two hours later, I woke up because I felt like I had to go to pee. I woke up my husband and he went with me to, you know, walk me down to go to pee. <laughs> On our way back, we saw some lights in our camping site area and we got worried and thought it was maybe like our family or something looking for us but my husband held me back and shh me to be quiet. As we watched those lights in the campsite area, we also saw that person holding a knife. And in typical movie um, fashion, we ducked and the guy heard us and headed towards our direction. And as he started running towards the woods, we headed towards the opposite direction and then made it to the road and then circled back to our car. So when we made it out of the area, we called the cops and the cops made us go back to the camping site. And when we got there to our surprise, we saw our camping site and our tent all slashed up. The police ended up evacuating all the nearby campers in that surrounding area. They also did a sweep of the surrounding area and found nothing but a flashlight. We follow up every month, but there have been no updates on this. Yeah, I've never had anything weird happen to me while camping. I mean, other than the sudden loud noise that'll be like a tree branch or something usually wakes you up, but you don't really stay up after because you just assume it's animals. assuming you can't be in the car when it's doing that. It looks scary as hell. What do they do when there's an earthquake? I'm pretty sure those cars might start rolling back, right? trying to figure out a way to get a bear twerking on camera <laughs> no i think we may have actually captured a photo of la llorona but quick little backstory before i show you guys the photo this story was submitted by vivian i went ahead and tagged her one night vivian's husband and her cousin were up late playing with the xbox vivian's husband was at home with her and her cousin was at his house they were both just sitting there talking through the mic when they both decided to go outside and smoke a cigarette. At which point, Vivian's husband decided to call her cousin through FaceTime. So as they're out there smoking a cigarette, just talking back and forth, Vivian's cousin notices that his cat is acting weird. His whole body's like hunched over, I'll show you guys a picture, and the hairs in the back of his neck are like standing up. He figures that probably a dog got into his yard, so he decided to walk down towards the driveway to see if he could see anything. But of course, he couldn't see anything. At which point, he heard a woman scream. His first instinct was to drop to the ground right on his stomach and start crawling towards his house. I mean, he was terrified. Crazy part about the whole thing was that Vivian's husband, who was on FaceTime with him, did not hear the scream. Once her cousin got back to the porch, he told her husband what happened and decided to flip the camera in the direction that the scream came from. Her husband, of course, could not see anything but decided to take a screenshot of the scream. This is when they finally saw what her cousin had heard. Now I'm gonna show you guys the first initial photo she sent me and then I'll show you guys the lightened version. Now this is the first one she sent me. You can see there the silhouette of something standing there. Now this is the more lightened version where you can really start to make out something just there. 
Now, here's when I started to get really creeped out. I mean, this is a legit woman standing there with a veil on her head, screaming in the middle of the night. And here's another close up. I mean, you can clearly make out a face beneath the veil. What do you guys think? I think whoever sent you this should consider moving to a new house. I have cousins that say they've seen this specific ghost, but you know, who knows if they're telling the truth. That was pretty cool, man. I don't think I could bring myself to knock it down after working for so long putting it up, you know? That was probably hours of work and it was gone in five seconds. All right, guys, we got a new ghost story. And this story is about a demon that scurries across the bed at 3 a.m. Don't believe me? Just wait. This story and footage comes from a lady named Marcy. And she lives in rural, rural, I could not say that. Rural Maryland. <laughs> she bought a farmhouse on acres of land, no street lights, just trees and grass. Marcy drives over to the house and steps inside. And she is amazed with its beauty. Except as it became dark, the energy in the house completely shifted. It went from this cute farmhouse to a terrifying and heavy, lonesome place. At night, Marcy would lay down in bed. And as she looked out her door, she could see a green light. This light was from her coffee pot, but she noticed it was disappearing and then reappearing, which it would never do. And that's when she had a realization. Someone is walking back and forth. Terrified, she doesn't move, closes her eyes, and goes to bed. Although at 3 a.m., she shot awake to the feeling of something walking across her legs. She could feel something hovering over her body. And every single night, this would continue to happen. 3 a.m., she wakes up and something is scurrying Yo. across the bed. So Marcy's like, I need to get a camera because this could either be from dream or maybe it's a rat. So she set up a camera at the end of her bed, pressed record, and went to bed as usual. This was Stop. a huge mistake because the things Marcy captured would make her move out of that house. Because the thing that she was dealing with is unexplainable. Unless you believe in ghosts. And I'll give you your warning right now because Marcy's footage is not cool. And if you watch it, maybe something will scurry across your bed. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. She also caught some EVPs as well, which honestly sound like a demonic child. Marcy moved out, didn't look back, something was in that house, and something was walking across her bed. How bizarre is that? No. Oh my god. Dude, that... <laughs> <laughs> that one actually kind of scared me. Oh my god. I think it was the pictures. The pictures are they're too much. They're too much. Michael looking both ways. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Michael Myers is more responsible than most drivers. If you ever come across this painting, whatever you do, don't take it with you. Here's why. A man by the name Sean inherited an odd-looking painting from his grandmother. But after some research, Sean discovered that this painting was made by a mentally ill man who painted it using his own blood, then shortly after took his own blood. Shockingly, Sean has also recorded doors moving on their own near it and scraping sounds as if something evil is living inside. So for 
this reason. I think I'd be okay. I'm not much of an art guy. There's people that live for this type of stuff though. I could totally see somebody putting that in their house. <laughs> that... Dude, imagine walking down those stairs at 3 a.m. You're going into the kitchen for a glass of water and you just see this thing's claws on your window and you think it's a person or a goat man. I don't like that they're basically our height. <laughs> That's so creepy, man. That one looked pretty legit. It even looks like how we used to think UFOs look like. Like a saucer. That's pretty awesome. He got it. Yeah, crows are pretty smart, man. They'll remember you if you give them food. Or if you're a jerk to them. They'll remember even jerks. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. He actually looked mad about that. <laughs> Yo. Oh, wow. Damn. Was that a bike lane? That area looked kind of cramped. Maybe he wasn't supposed to drive through there. That's probably why that happened. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is going on there? Is that normal? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's poorly. Oh, I've never seen a shark do that before. <laughs> no? Again. Same one? Yeah. <gasps> Look at his eyes. Oh my god. They're like copper. It's trying to get a bite out of the guy in the cage. That was probably the goofiest shark I've ever seen. gonna just pretend that I didn't see that crow. I need to take another look at it. What is that? <laughs> what? Dude, what am I looking at? I've never seen a jacked crow. Maybe they're getting too smart and they're hitting the weights. Oh. oh, that was so close. 
Dude, that is scary. Just two seconds later and he would have got in. You gotta be aware of your surroundings at all times. <laughs> Zookeeper activities. Probably fun working at a zoo. Although I wouldn't recommend spanking a hippo like that. That, that seems kind of dangerous. Oh wow. That's crazy. I didn't know camels did that. Coming right off. No tools required. Just pull. You could probably make a whole jacket with that. Are we gonna do something? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? <laughs> it's up to you. Your move. I need nothing. I didn't think so. <laughs> then you need to stop being so loud and calm down. Okay? Calm down. I'll more than gladly clip them. Come on. Eat up. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious, man. I can't believe he handed him the clippers right back. That's a mean but well-educated dog. Dang, boy. He's getting ready for that hibernation, man. Old torpedo over here. Well, that's all I have today. Thanks for hanging out with me again. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome and I appreciate all of you guys. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.